What's up, YouTube? Uncle Ford here. I want to talk about a trend that's going around in the current format, and it's Upstart Goblin. Now, most of you know the mathematical theory behind Upstart Goblin is, all right, so you play three, 40-card deck, all right, every Upstart lets you draw one, you give your opponent 1,000 light points, takes your deck down to effectively 37 cards. Same thing with Triple Pot of Duality. Um, it floats for an additional card of your choice from the three. So your deck is technically 34 cards at that point. Now, what makes it so interesting in this particular format is Upstart is seeing a little bit more play in dragons. Um, you know, it effectively lets you draw into your dragons faster, and it thins down your already thin deck even further because each time the dragons float in search for the particular engine, uh, the deck goes down by one card. So, mathematically and statistically, um, Upstart combined with dragons gives you all the more, I want to say, paralysis for gaining into the cards you need because uh, on the ban list certain things did get hit like bottomless. So now your theory is to draw into uh, your one of copy for certain cards and then do damage to your opponent. <coughs> um, also looking at it um, for stun, stun can support the three upstarts and the three um, dualities. So at that point you're basically playing a 34 card deck. Um, you have your entire resource pool available to you. You construct your deck based on the theory that, all right, my deck is going to be 34 cards what are the most effective 34 cards that I can use from that pool? So, Upstart uh, is seeing a little bit more interesting play outside of, you know, Burn and things like that, um, just because of the theory that it reduces your effective deck size by those three. Um, giving your opponent 1,000 life points isn't really relevant in today's metagame. Um, sorry to say, guys, um, giving your opponent 1,000 life points, it's whatever. Now, to those of you that are going to make the argument that Jar of Greed and Legacy of Yada are better, no, because they're turn one passive. You have to set them, set them up, and then, you know, your opponent can MST them. Not today. So, don't think that the trap versions are better in the meta-based decks. Um, do consider, if you are going to play this format, do give a shot to Upstart Goblin. I definitely would consider it because of the theory behind it. Um, just, you know, that floater into the deck uh, to search for the next one. Um, I do know that previous formats, Upstart was starting to see a little bit more play. It's just this particular format seems to be all the more resource heavy with the deck thinning, getting to your resources and things like that. So I wanted to ask, what do you guys think about the current trend? Uh, do you think if Upstart doesn't get hit to one, do you think it will be, you know, better in future formats? Do you think it could, you know, continue to affect the game. Just a little interesting trend that I've seen. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Kind of looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this current trend, and I'll talk to you guys later on.